All right, the next thing we want to do is start to put some of these plans and views and elevations and sections onto um, some sheets. So let's make some new sheets here. Right click, new sheet, and pick a title block. We can go load one if we don't have one already. And there's a sheet for us, new sheet, hit OK. Now let's start with two and see what happens. So um, we're going to place some views on here. So let's start by placing our top of footing. I believe that's at 1 to 100. Okay, so let's go to our top of footing. And now we need to turn on our crop region and start to squeeze this down a little bit because we don't need that much room for the actual view to fit on the sheet. Okay, notice how I do that and then turn the crop region off. So I'm going to go to the main floor, turn my crop region on, click on it, squish it down. It's going to get rid of those elevation bubbles because they're not going to be in the crop region and turn it off and roof plan. Turn on my crop region. And squeeze it down. Pretty good. And then turn it off to get this all done. Okay, now let's go back to that sheet. We can right click on here. Well, let's see what fits on here first. Let's go to footing. Oh, it's already on this sheet. Oh, well, let's click on here and delete it off of that sheet. Go back to here. Top of footing. Not bad. Top of main. Notice it'll line up here quite nicely. Take this guy, nudge it over with my arrow key, nudge this guy over. Oh boy, it fits tight, but it will. So click on the view, then grab that little grip and stretch it. Click on the view, grab the grip and stretch it. Hit escape, take this little dude, grab it, press and drag, because I have my press and drag turned on. Now I can see that I've got a little bit too much sticking out here, so I can drag those guys in. Vertically, I'm okay. And that should carry through to my other plan. So if I click on here, I can nudge that over. It looks like my two foundation and main floor are going to fit on there. Let's right click and rename that and call it, you know, main. And FDN plans. And I also want it to maybe be called S1. Right click on here, rename this, and call this S2, and call it um, second and roof plans. It's good. Double click on here, grab my top of second. And oh, looks like it escape, escape. Let's go back and let's clean that guy up as well. Turn my crop region on. Something that you can do at the beginning stages, because you know inevitably you're going to try to fit this on a sheet. So the sooner you get your elevations and your plants all nice and cropped, the better off you'll be. Uh, roof, I presume, will have the same problem. Nope, that one's already been done. Good, back to here. Top of second, place it in the middle of my sheet. Oh, that didn't work. I kind of, and my roof over here. And escape, escape. So the roof looks like it's in a pretty good position. Now, what I want to do to line this up is watch, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to click on this view and I'm going to drag it up and you're going to see that blue, you see the blue alignment line come across when it lines up horizontally and then I'm just going to nudge it over just enough to get it. Click on here and nudge this guy over. It's a tight fit but 
it fits. Click out, click on here, grab that grip, slide it over. Click on here, grab the grip, slide it over. Then grab this guy. And because I have my press and drag, I can drag that guy over. Click on here, press and drag that guy over. Click out. Okay, so there we've got two new sheets with our plans and our uh, four plans placed on our new sheets.